Hi guys, welcome back. How's every little thing? So glad you could join us. It is very, very cold in southeastern Michigan today, and it's the perfect day to just play around and try to feel a little more beautiful, especially on a freezing day, especially if you're dealing with any kind of chronic illness. I know my body does not do well with any kind of crazy temperature changes, especially to the cold. So anything you can do to try to feel a little more pretty on a crappy day like this, always a good thing. So I got a hold of a new curling iron and I've seen a lot of different ones on the market for a really high price tag and I found this one at Aldi of all places, or LD if that's how you say it. I say Aldi. It is, you know, if you've been here before, that I am all about Aldi. It is my home away from home. And even now it's my home home because I use Instacart and they just bring groceries to me. I did go into the store for this though. It is the Visage Pro Style Auto Curler. And it was dun dun dun, dun $19.99. Not $99.99 like most of these are, $19.99. So we are going to get into the review. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I think. I'm going to show you how to use it and uh, how you can achieve this look with it. So thanks for coming today. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. And if you want to be notified of new videos, don't forget to ring that bell. And on with the review of the grocery store curling iron. So this curler allows you to quickly and easily style your hair in minutes. And it has a control panel, which I'll show you, a ceramic coated chamber that warms up quickly and easily and glides through hair. So this was $19.99. It was originally $29.99 and then it was marked down. And the reason I grabbed this is because A, when you are grocery shopping, you can buy all this crap from the special buy area and it counts like it's groceries. So you don't, you know, feel bad about buying nonsense when you're shopping because it's on the grocery budget. It's fine. It's like, you know, buying bread. Um, and B, I was visiting a friend this weekend. What up, Crazy Pam? And she had that, um, I think it's the InStyler. I can't remember. It's a, a different, very expensive $100 version of this where it has like a little like pod that you clamp down. This one is a little bit different. But anyways, we had so much fun playing with that that I saw this for 20 bucks and thought, what the hell? So it comes with this little cover, which is nice. It covers up the little curl chamber thing. So that comes off and it has a trigger. It's like curl gun. Oh, okay, stop, stop it. Okay, and it has our screen right here. And so on the screen, you can see it has left, right, or auto, so you can choose which way you want your curl to go. I'm going to just choose auto and let it think for me. It has your temperature, which goes up to 446. Who needs that? That's, that's or fry my hair off. Okay, it, I think I usually do it about 400, 410 or so when I'm doing it, but that's probably too high. Let's go to um, 374. And then it has this button here, which is how many times around you want it to go. And I'm just going to crank this sucker up. And then this is how long you are going to hold it. And I'm going to crank that up as well. And that's your power button. So there's this little silicone piece thingy right here. And it tells you to make sure that... The flat part is against your head, which I don't, I don't know if that's appropriate. It's kind of gun-like. Um, and then you put your little piece of hair. Now it's really important to use small pieces of hair. I definitely learned that when I was playing with uh, Pam's curling iron. And I did fiddle with this for just a couple of minutes when I got it the other night. So you take it, you put it in this little chamber here, you point it at your head and then push down the trigger. Woo! Ah! And then you just hold it until it beeps at you. Let's see what happens. Hello? Take it. Is this? Oh, okay. I think I got like a little snarl on that one, but 
look at that. We have a curl. We have a curl. So beautiful. Okay, so here's, I'm going to play around with this a little more. I'm going to pin my hair up in sections and actually try to really do this for you. Um, so let me go pin my hair up and I'll be right back. using these just little I don't know what this part is for uh, do you know what this part is for hey comment below if you know why these clips are doing this what is the story with that is there like a hair specialist that knows I, I've never seen this before so I'd love to know what that is um, I just got these probably at TJ Maxx or somewhere silly that they were cheap and it's just handy to have extra ones around I'm sure you probably get at the Dollar Tree honestly um, but that's where I got those. Okay, so I'm just using these clips, just trying to section it out so I can just work with little small portions. I really struggle with this when I'm curling my hair. I just feel like all of my hair is always in the way. I don't even have that much hair. In fact, I don't have very much hair at all. I used to have a good twice as much as this before I was diagnosed with Hashi's, so it's a huge pain. It's one of the reasons I just feel like I'm always on the lookout for some kind of hair device that's going to help me to just feel better about my hair. I know it could be so much worse than I expect it will be as I continue to get older, but it's it's just a lot less thick than it used to be, and it's just a big so, pain. So we're just going to start at the bottom here, work our way through, and uh, kind of see what happens with this bad boy. It's, I think I'm going to be tempted to use bigger pieces than what you're supposed to, um, just so it doesn't take so darn long, but I know it was gonna, it's gonna back up if I do that. Alright, so I put it in here. It's still on. Oh, yeah, it is. Alright, so we're putting it in there. We're doing the dance. We're making it happen. We're having some fun. Alright, here we go. Ah, every single time. So what I'll say is, why would you choose this instead of a regular curling iron? Well, this is, once it's there, I don't have to hold it. It's just kind of there. I don't know, it's kind of fun. I don't know that it does a better job than a curling iron. I will say the one that I used over the weekend, um, the curls really held on for a long time. That looks a little wonky, doesn't it? But it's an experiment, so we'll see how this goes. All right, we're gonna pull out our next piece. I think I should have started from the back. How do you do yours? Do you start from the back? Do you start from the bottom? Do you start from the top? Tell me every little thing. How do you do yours? I'd love to know your like best secrets for sectioning off your hair. How does this look? Oh, dear God. Okay. Okay. All right. So here's a good example of the safety mechanism. Sweet Jesus. Okay. It got, there was a little extra like fuzzy hairs that got pulled in and it got kind of tangled up inside of there. So it shut down. The whole thing shuts off and turns on this error code, which is nice because it means, you know, it's not going to continue to spin and pull my hair out or burn it off, I hope. We'll see. Oh, it's a grocery store automatic curling iron, so mm, we'll see what happens here. So we're gonna try again. I need to just not be so greedy and just take a smaller piece of hair. It's good. We're gonna be here forever. It is nine o'clock at night right now, and I just was in the mood. I'm, I had a snow day today from school, and so did the kids and the huzz. It's pretty awesome. It is currently, 40 below wind chill factor in southeastern Michigan, which is pretty crazy. Um, it's not like it's typically warm here in the winter, but it is usually not the Arctic here during the winter. So schools everywhere in our area have shut down for days. We didn't have school Monday. We went in Tuesday, off to today, off tomorrow. So we need to go in Friday. I have to cancel a concert tomorrow and it's a whole thing. Not happy about it. We had a concert scheduled tomorrow night. We have a big festival on Saturday. We really need to have school Friday because I need to work with those kids and deal with festival details. But I have enjoyed this um, break today and having a really nice sort of midweek weekend. It's been it's been cool. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm just doing the same thing. Just taking little sections of hair, sticking them in the top. It definitely works works better when you're getting small sections of hair. As much as I'm tempted to just want to get this done faster. 
Um, I will say, oh, so here's something. The settings turned down when it sucked my hair in. It's turned down the time and turned down the rotation. So um, when I turned it back on out of the error code, it didn't go back to the original settings. The temperature did turn the same. Oh, but then the auto turn thing didn't. It went to right. So that's interesting to know. It has a little mind of its own when it is recovering from too much hair. So, all right. Stick this in. That's what she said. So for me, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just standing here. I don't have to do anything. I'm not having to twist and hurt my wrists and get my, you know, tendonitis acting up, which it's not like curling your hair is so hard, but sometimes it is. When you are uh, running low on spoons, looking pretty is the last thing on your mind, and uh, sometimes it's just easier to let something like this do the work for you, which is pretty cool. I'm feeling like it's definitely, whoops, definitely not too hot at all. Like I don't feel it hot next to my head. I don't feel like my hair is scalding hot or anything. So that's good. I, I, it's not too much heat on the hair, too much damage happening. That's the last thing we need. All right, and we're getting pretty nice little curls. So we'll do the turn around here. I don't know how it looks in the back because I don't have eyes there, but you let me know. In the comments, how does it look in the back? Ugh. All right, so we're going to just get the rest of this done. Um, I'll quit running my mouth and carrying on, and we'll just kind of keep working these sections, and I'll be back with you in a little bit. when I get new stuff, especially stuff that's a little bit weird and I'm not quite sure how to use it. And there, I can only find two on all of YouTube for this product. And I am certain there are more than two people that have purchased this, well, three including me, but I am sure there are more than three of us out there that have this. So I wanted to do a review on it so that the other seven people who purchased it would know what to do. No, there are some pretty similar products on the market. Um, I mean, this is just basically an electric or an automatic curling iron, but there are a few others that are this kind of gun sort of shape rather than the pod thing. And I, I will tell you that I much prefer this than the pod thing because it does not open all the way. It only opens this little bit. You have to like get your hair way down inside the thing. This is much easier to load up. Um, the gun shape here than your regular like curl and styler type of thing in the, in the times that I have tried them. I have tried it a couple of different times and I found it just really difficult to load for me. Um, and it had that sort of I'm in the mirror and I don't know what I'm doing sort of feel to it. I just could not get it together on that thing. But this I feel like is really easy. You just point the gun at your scalp, put your hair in the top, boom, done. Easy. Every time. I, I do have to say, I'm enjoying this. Um, it's really easy to use. I, it's not damaging my hair more than any other kind of heat would damage your hair. And it is, is pretty user friendly, I have to say. Like, once you figure out the trick of it, and it's making nice little curls, you'll see when it's all done. Once you figure it out, I feel like it's really easy in terms of making an automatic curling iron. It's pretty 
you know, dumb proof. <laughs> I'm just going to bed. If I were going out, I probably would back home a little bit and do a little bit of fluffing things a little more. But I, if you are not looking for a full bodied curl kind of look, if you're looking more for beachy waves with the end that's straight, this is not the product that you're going to use for that because this does suck the ends and this is really mimics what a curling iron, a regular curling iron is going to do. It just does it without any twisting or clamping. Um, or, you know, getting your ear caught in that clamp, although you got to be careful with this thing that you don't get it caught. But I think this is a really pretty look. If you did them all, I had it on auto curl, so it just did every which way, but you could do all of left on one side and right on the other side, and, and you can set it to kind of curl away from your face if that's what you're looking for. Um, so all in all, what time is it? That took me about 30 minutes. So, and that was with like changing my camera battery and dinking around. It is my first time doing this to my whole head. So I'd say that isn't terrible. I was moving slow and, you know, chatting the whole time. So I think you could probably do this even a little bit faster. So there it is. The Visage Auto Curler from Aldi, 1999. And I think this is something I would definitely use again. I would definitely recommend it for someone who doesn't want to be twisting a curling iron, who doesn't want to be clamping your hair into any kind of a device like that. This is pretty easy to use, I will say, and it was 20 bucks. So the thing about Aldi is it's there one day, and then once it's gone, it's gone. So if you do want to get your hands on one of these, run out to your local Aldi. It is the last week of January. If you've already gotten one of these, hopefully this is the video for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get those notifications and uh give it a thumbs up and we will see you next time right nate mm -hmm. say bye bye take care of you